Hello everybody in the VC. How's it spinning? Um, it's been a while obviously since I posted anything uh, for a number of reasons and one of them was for a while I kind of lost interest in music for, for a while but that was a uh, story for another day. However, during the time of course, we had the wine apocalypse, Christmas, New Year's, and uh, I hope that there was there was a couple of jokes in there somewhere that I, again I'm gonna post later. But um, yeah, I went a little yeah I had a little fun with my my camera uh, on the 21st. But um, yeah, hope you all got uh, nice pieces of black gold, and I'm gonna show you some stuff that came rather a surprise because I haven't bought anything but I got some, I got some stuff here as presents and um, do a live opening of some, of some stuff that um, got over the past couple of weeks and so we will see what they are because I don't really know all of them. I've only seen them because they were. Uh, I know about some of them, but not all of them. Um, and the piece that I was told about apparently isn't here yet. So, and that was that one was rather cool. But some of the some of these I do know about. Okay, cool. Um, it's interesting. I found that these work really well for storing seven inches in, and having just need having just bought some new uh, containers for my 45s. Um, keep this around for extras, because that appears to be what this is. Um, and wow, this is kind of. Um, Interesting, it looks like there's two of them in here, and I know, only know of one, so, you know, it's an, it looks like it's another Christmas or something. We'll see what we got. Yeah, I get all the... We're getting the tape off. It's probably the most irritating part to this whole thing. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And, okay, since these are 45s, you know, we all know what those look like in the plain white sleeves. Um, okay. Bob Dylan, Band of the Hand. But this is the, the pitcher sleeve. Um, yeah, the actual 45s right there. Um, one by Metallica. The pitcher sleeve really nice. Um, knew about these. Uh, so these are really cool. Um, you know, Bob Dylan, of course, uh, got to be in a, in a vinyl collection. Um, and everybody knows, I'm not saying no to Metallica, at least uh, 80s Metallica. Uh, this one, I don't know, it didn't come from very far. 
But um, let's see what we got. Um, I believe that most of these pieces will be autographed, but aha, very, very nice. Um, these guys have come up in the, in the discussion. Um, let it be by the Beatles uh, with the um, I believe this is a uh, yeah dad picked this one up I believe this I believe this actually is an original press of the album uh, they came up in a discussion between uh, him and I because of the the recent um, reissues and as soon as I get the money I'm going to be picking a cup a couple of those up um, and already got I have in mind the ones that I'm going to go, go grab uh, just waiting for the money and when I get it I'll go do it um, but yeah they they, uh, they were back in the discussion that's really nice um, and uh, always nice to add more beetles uh, got at least two um, one's in excellent condition one not so good um, yeah I need to replace my copy of the white album it's kind of in good condition but you know it's one of those things where it's like yeah you need at least two copies of you got the playable copy uh, that's a little bit dinged up but it, it's clean but dinged up a little bit Aha! Uh, Robin Boston will, will appreciate this one. Zeppelin Mudslide. And I did not know about this one. This is really cool. This is really, really, really cool. And um, obviously, have a lot of bootlegs from mostly just one band, as, as you are all familiar with. I this is my first Zeppelin bootleg. This is really cool. Pacific Coliseum, Vancouver, Canada, March twenty first, nineteen seventy. First ever Zeppelin bootleg be released. Okay, well there's that. And um Rob, if you have any like to shed on this feel free uh, and anybody else with, with knowledge of what's going on specifically with this one go ahead and um, uh, spread the knowledge if you feel so inclined to do so okay, it's another one from the same guy Interesting. How am I doing? Eight and a half. Okay. Even though I can go longer than fifteen, I like to keep them shorter because it's, even I get sick of myself. Um, and uh, here we go again. Um, this is really cool. Another cool one. More Beatles. Revolver. Very nice. Very nice. And I didn't even know and look at that. Left the original um, original sleeve. Hey, nice job. Really nice, yeah. Not too bad. 
on this one. Really, really nice job with that pickup. And these inserts are always cool. Um, the ones, the ones from the sixties and seventies, because they're, you know, they're actually, you know, because of the detail on them, and um, you know, and everything, and having being reminded again because just uh, one of the things that I bought myself because I don't have other people buy Christmas presents for me or have Santa drop anything anymore because um, I stayed up and he never showed up uh, I bought my own stuff I got a uh, new iPhone and um, remind you know playing with it and everything with the music stuff and reminded again uh, that this stuff just it doesn't it'll never never sound like vinyl and I got it was funny. I got on a, to sidetrack a little bit. I got a I downloaded an app that it basically you take a song and it basically it, it shows a turntable and you put the needle on the digital record and it'll play the song and it'll spin around so it'll look like a record. But, and it was funny because the, in the description of it, they're saying that, you know, it, make your MP3 sound like vinyl. I shit you not. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I got to try this just for, just for a laugh. And yeah, it's like, it's, oh my, oh my goodness. It, it's, 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 wow. That's, that's all that needs to be said. It, but it, it's good for a giggle. It, it, I just, I was... Yeah, just it, it, good, good for a giggle. Um, but it basically, you know, and even though the song I tested, um, from an album that I do have on, uh, I do actually have. Um, it was a, it was a disturbed song. And I actually have the vinyl, um, of the al of those albums. It was, you know, it's still so I can actually, you know. It's still actually here like it's supposed to. Um, still, that was a hilarious, hilarious description. And, um, hmm, this one's a little bit more challenging to open, so I may go longer than 15 minutes. Um, I had, uh, yeah. You know, one of the reasons why I stopped doing the live openings is because they take too long. One reason is because of all the tape that the guys use, which you want them to use because you don't want anything damaged. So I've had it happened a couple of times. A lot of it was, you know, I had things that happened that were my fault because, you know, give people the wrong address that was not from, uh, it was from an online store, not, uh, not eBay, Discord, or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, and by the time the record got to the Correct address. Um, you know, problems with the spine and everything. Um, did a really nice job though with um, the packaging. A lot of strips of cardboard and more cardboard, which you know and. It's nice that I didn't use half a roll of um, duct tape um, to seal this portion. And check this out. Hee <laughs> hee.
Yeah. Um, speaking of this, uh, here's another band on, um, you know, check this out. Adding to my Who collection. However, there, so you can read that. Yeah, we all know who that is, or at least we should all know who that is. There's the signature. Yep. There you go. And that is all of it. Uh, hopefully to get caught up. Uh, good to see you guys again. I'm out.